Welcome to WCW Worldwide Wrestling. I'm Scott Hudson, joined by the Brain, Bobby the Brain Heenan. Brain, what a week it's been. A week of transition. A new man at the top in WCW. That's Eric Bischoff. Two new men at the top. That's right. Along with Vince Russo. Vince you Russo. know, if they put their minds together, Eric Bischoff is one of the most talented, creative men I've ever met in this industry. And so is Vince Russo. But there's only one president of the United States. There's only one president of a company. There's only one president of a club. Two presidents will never work. If they could make it work, it would be the most fantastic thing this industry has ever seen. I don't think it can happen. I think their egos are too big. We'll get more into the Russo-Bischoff situation later in this broadcast. But right now, Tony Schiavone and Mike Tenay are standing by ringside. Thanks a lot, guys. Here in the arena, we got three big matches for you fans, including Fit Finley against Chuck Palumbo, the power plant. Tag team action, the team of XS, Lane and Ray, will face the Vianos, four and five. And then how about this feature about Humorous will take on Screaming Norman Smiley, and Humorous is a very, very red-hot wrestler right now. Yeah, Mike. Humorous has really been on a roll as of late, Tony. Seems to have more dedication, more concentration, and more focus, and he'll need that against Screaming Norman. As a matter of fact, he's standing by in the locker room area right now with our own David Pinter. David, take it away. And my guess at this time, the laughing man, Hugh Morris, will go one-on-one -on -one with Screaming Norman Smiley. Laughing man, uh, absence from World Championship Wrestling, but you are back and you are on a roll. A little bit of absence, but don't you find it ironic? Dave Penzer and Hugh Morris back on Worldwide, kind of the Siskel and Ebert of Worldwide. Which one am I? The dead one. But let's talk about Norman Smiley. I'm on a roll. I've come back. Was he hiding? Was he watching? Who cares? Norman Smiley, I think a little while down the road I took it to your Nitro, but you decided to come on Worldwide and maybe sneak one over. No. What kind of role am I on? You're on one heck of a roll, and I have noticed since you've been back, it's a lot less laughing and a lot more intensity. I told you a long time ago, I laugh in here. Sometimes you hear it, sometimes you don't. Norman, you'll hear no laughing matter. You'll see the big kahuna come off the top rope, and maybe I'll come back and talk to my friend Dave Penzer. Still to come tonight on WCW Worldwide, the laughing man, Hugh Morrison, screaming Norman Smiley, back to you, Tony, and Mike today at ringside. Thanks a lot, David. Humor's always very jovial, always a lot to say, but he's going to be dead serious going up against Screaming Norman. Both men, obviously, like that hardcore division, Screaming Norman, former hardcore champion. No question about that. These two individuals have something to prove, and here on WCW Worldwide, they have a chance to show their superiority. And we'll be coming right back to the arena later on in this telecast with those three spectacular matches here on Worldwide Wrestling. But right now, back to the studios with Scott Hudson and Bobby the Brain Heenan. Feature belt time on WCW Worldwide Wrestling, and we're going to see, as we said earlier, two men who have certainly thrived and prospered in the hardcore division come out here in this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Screaming Norman to go up against Humorous. Well, Screaming Norman has certainly established himself in the year 1999 as well as in the year 2000 as one of the rising stars of World Championship Wrestling. The former hardcore champion makes his way to the ring and the opposition this week on Worldwide provided by Humorous, who's really come back in the spotlight in WCW after being away for several months. The man who has incredible ability and agility for a 350 pounder. The laughing man has had the last laugh on well, more occasions than not as of late. He has faced some of the top competitors since his return after an injury in WCW, and he, he's not lost a step. I mean, we talked about humorous before the injury that uh, the sky was the limit for this guy, that he certainly had a long way to go because he's still very, very young. But at over 300 pounds, he has an abundance of confidence, and we think right now, I think we would all agree, fans, promoters, and announcers, people in the backstage here, that humorous is on the right track to really elevate himself as a top-ranked star. He's got the mic. What you are about to see is the match of the millennium! The Wiggle versus the Giggle. <laughs> Puts it into perspective, doesn't it? I wouldn't call it the match of the millennium, though. It's a... Uh... It's one of the matches. Well, in his mind, it is. Sure it is. Whatever, whatever it takes to fire yourself up, right? To pump yourself in your own mind is going to be a big one. And uh, humorous. And screaming Norman Smiley 
with Billy Silverman, the referee, set to go. And I think both of these men look at this as a stepping stone match, a chance to move up the ladder of success in WCW. Almost appears as if these guys are on equal ground in world championship wrestling at this point, and a victory would certainly propel them up that ladder. We are in the in the midst of the opening part of the Major League Baseball season, and Screaming Norman has a combination of a baseball jersey and the football pants on. Well, not a bad look, I guess. Doesn't look bad at all. I guess, yeah, I guess you're right. Full arm dragon twist. Screaming Norman into the rubs, into the other side. A humorous attempt to land that time. Look at that. The laughing man elbow. Running in place and then dropping down with that 350 pound. First with the elbow and then drops down with the headbutt. Connecting on Screaming Norman. He's gonna do it one more time. The fans love it. Three of them, three of them in a row. One more or what? No, he's gonna go. He's gonna walk the turnbuckle pad. Is he gonna try to put on the no laughing matter? Is he, is he gonna try to end this thing right here? Kind of early in the match, isn't it? Well, he's got screaming Norman down. He's gonna go from the other direction. The fourth elbow attempt was way up top, and what cost him was the deliberate climb to the top turnbuckle. Screaming Norman! Big wiggle! Well, the giggle stopped the wiggle. Is that what you call that back elbow, a giggle? That's what he called it. He said it was the wiggle versus the giggle. I don't, I'm not so sure, Mike, if he was talking about his move. Screaming Norman goes to the back and then the knee double underhook. Maybe the butterfly over the top suplex here. Let's see if he can hoist this big guy up. He cannot do it. Too much bulk that time for Screaming Norman, but he comes away with a sun set flip and gets a two. Yeah, probably not a smart move by Smiley trying to outpower Humorous. Not going to win that contest very often. Nice reversal into the ropes. The quickness of Smiley first to duck the clothesline, but then the even quicker Humorous connected with the back elbow directed to the throat. Humor points to the top once again. This time he may be going for no laughing matter. That reverse moonsault from the top. Again, taking too much time to mount the, the corner and cut off by Smiley. Smiley's best move that time was the fallback. Here's a one, two, no. Screaming Norman's going to dance for us again. He's done a lot more dancing than wrestling. Oh, he gets run over by Humorous. Great running clothesline, humorous exploding out of the corner, now quickly going to the top, not wasting any time, Here not goes. wasting any motion. Oh. No laughing matter and no more room for Screaming Norman. Humorous is the winner, and you could see it. It was only a matter of time before Humorous won this thing. Just too much strength, just too much power for Screaming Norman. And does anybody connect with more proficiency off the top with a moonsault than humorous? And the answer is no. We're going to take you back to the Worldwide Studios for Scott Hudson and Bobby the Brain in it. Thanks a lot, guys. That's going to wrap up this edition of WCW Worldwide. What an eventful program this has been, Brain. Above all else, new men at the top of the helm in WCW, Vince Russo and Eric Bischoff back in the fold. And think about this. Our very first pay-per-view, Spring Stampede in Chicago, is the first pay-per-view that Eric Bischoff and Vince Russo will work together at. Can you imagine that? Now, the way the pay-per-view's been going and what we've seen, the action and the things that have gone down are unbelievable. Now, with these two at controls, what can happen? Where will this go? What kind of a Spring Stampede will this be? With Russo and Bischoff steering this ship, anything could happen on April 16th at Spring Stampede steering in what? Chicago. The ship? Oh, you I mean, steering. Steering the ship. Russo and Bischoff, the big story in pro wrestling. Maybe the Brain's hearing will be our big story next week. For Bobby the Brain Heenan, I'm Scott Hudson. See you next week right here on Worldwide. Huh? I'm sorry I didn't hear you.